Hi, I'm Ted. And this is a cedar sided doghouse. It's got a Douglas fir 2x4 frame. Now the cedar siding is beveled. It's half inch by six. Little plywood floor and sitting on 4x4 pressure treated skids. I built it for around 125 bucks. I'll show you how I did it. I'll be framing it out with this Douglas fir 2x4. I've also ripped out some trim from Douglas fir. It's half inch by one and a half inch. And for the siding, we're going to use this cedar. It's beveled for shiplap siding. And we may use this on the roof also. A piece of plywood cut out three feet by four feet for the floor. And we're going to put some 4x4 four four pressure treated skids under it also. The sidewall pieces are 26 inches each on the inside wall to the top with a 45. The top cords are 31 and they've also got a 45 in the center. We're going to use the plywood to help us make these little trusses. We'll be making three of them. I've also lined it up with a center marker in the middle. And I'll leave this first truss in place and use it as a guide for the other trusses. First I'll screw it down to the wood so that it doesn't move. And light it up with the outside of the plywood. Make sure it's flush with the bottom and make sure the center point is on. setting these at two foot on center. I have some marks on there already. These two by twos are going to go on the corner here, and we'll be needing this because I'm going to have to screw the siding into these. The trim will be on the outside, so they really only need to go up to the top of the side wall here. We're going to pre-drill them and put one in each corner. No, I have these extended a little higher than they really have to be, but I'm going to screw in from this side to beef these trusses up on the four corners. Now I've got these trim pieces here with a 45 on the end. They're 23 and a half inches from the tall point all the way down. These are going to be flanking our siding here, and this will be our siding trim. The siding should come down to, to the end of these and overhang the floor a little bit. And you can also use trim nails. I'm going to paint these corner trims. So I'm going to use screws here.
with this side in here, you'd have at least a minimum of one inch overlap. So I've made some marks on here for the one inch overlap. Pre-drilled some holes, some nice oversized holes. Make sure you don't split it. And I've got some screws started. Each of these panels has a smooth side and a rough side. I'm going to put the rough side out. I'm going to line it up until it's even with the bottom there. And you can also use galvanized nails for this. Double check with the square. Just could put a little 15 degree angle on it right in the end of it. To make this cut, I'm just going to set it at 15 degrees on the scale down here. Fasten it down. Line the 15 degree angle up. Feels even with the skids. Just come from behind here and get a screw in it. Of course, I'm using a shorter inch and a half screws for this. These pieces here are 26 inches. I'm going to use your three and a half inch screws for this. pieces are a little over three inches.
this side, I have an inch and a half mark, so I'm going to let the inch and a half hang over here. But all the way down here is help me line it up. And I've got my marks from three inches in, because I'm going to have three inches in the back, and the rest is going to hang over the front. And these marks are the three inch marks that line up at the back here. And that's how we need to Same thing on this side. I've got my inch and a half mark to line it up here. I've got my three inch mark to line it up here, and that'll be the overhang in the back. 